Now with this second table, uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll go and create a form using the fast forms. Again, the product table is sitting behind the database at the moment already. That way we've got some records in it to display. But the next two tables will be created from scratch using the fast form. But so with the product one, we're just going to do code and description, a uh, price, and we're going to put it in a group. Right, now with the objects that have been created here with this fast form, we've just got to make a couple of changes. First of all, the group is a drop down, which at the moment just has choices for yes or no. So we'll change that in a minute. But um, yeah, we'll just try to make this look a bit better. So the group there really is just going to be a list of pizza, pasta and drinks. So apart from that we might go and uh, change the width of the code and we'll make it the same width as the other two objects down the bottom there. So we just click that and So we got to there, um, now we didn't do this on the first form but we're going to, because it's created with a fast form, it's given its own code and description so we'll make that a bit better, something that's going to make sense to us. Alright, so you can see that's changed up there now. Well, that's about it.